Have you ever found yourself asking, why can't I just watch the entire Shrek series on my DSi? Or maybe you just want to prank your friends with a Rick Roll. Well, whatever streaming interest you may have may be possible on a homebrew DS device. Like I always do, I've been turning a few heads by putting out several shorts involving prank CIA files, upgrading my Shrek DS with every single Shrek movie, and even streaming some of the 1993 Mario movie on my 3DS XL. It's been really fun seeing the reactions when I whip out my DS and start watching full movies at excellent quality. Real crisp. I mean, I remember when Netflix was available on a disc for the Wii, and that was revolutionary for the time. Or when PlayStation could play Blu-ray. But we never got handheld versions of streaming capabilities. I mean, you have to jump through hoops to even watch Netflix on the Switch. So when I say I'm excited to use any of my DS's... Wait, what's the plural of DS? DS's? DS-I's? DS-I's? <gasps> DS-I's. It's Anyways, I'm thrilled to have figured this out, and I will show you the most effective solution for watching media on your 3DS and DSi, respectively. For the DSi, you're going to want to have Twilight Menu++ Plus Plus on it. I actually have a tutorial on this in my first video about the Shrek DS if you're wanting to homebrew yours, so go ahead and check that out. If you already have seen the video or already have a DSi that's homebrewed, then go to the website in the description called DSi Video Players. This is a direct link to several different DSi video players for the DSi homebrewing. However, I do have to warn you, I have tried every single one and the only one that's worked for me is Fast Video DS. It is also the easiest. Start with downloading the .NET runtime from the link on the site, then download the zipped Fast Video DS encoder file, extract it, to your computer in its own folder. Then download the bat file and drag it into the fast video DS folder. You should then be able to put any mp4 file you want into the same folder and begin conversion to a .mp4.fv file. This is going to be the file that Twilight Menu will be able to recognize to play. Drag your mp4 file onto the .bat file and you should see a window that will pop up labeled Fast Video DS Encoder by Jericom. It should fully convert the video, but it will take some time before it completes. I have been able to convert a full movie at 1080p, but your experience will vary based on your PC. If you get any errors, try converting a shorter video or one with lower quality. Ideally, you will be porting over something around 480p since the DS is going to downscale it to its native resolution anyways. Also, if you are expecting quality from a DSi, then I don't know how to help you. Then that's concerning. Drop the completed .mp4 .fv file straight to the root of your SD. These will show up in your Twilight menu, and you can play them just by clicking on the real icon. I like this player due to the fact that you can skim through the video unlike some other players that only have pause or stop features. You can also add Twilight Menu to your 3DS or 2DS device and run .mp4.fv files just like the DSi. There's nothing stopping you. However, it is not the most optimal custom firmware for these devices. So we will be using a program called Video Channel Creator, which works differently than the DSi version and depending on your goal, may be a better option anyways. VCC converts your MP4 file into a downloadable CIA with an included player. Click on the link in the description labeled VCC. There is a page on GameBrew that has a download, but it's bundled with every single version and it has this integrated UI feature that I can't seem to get working. You don't need it! Go to the link to, and I'm gonna butcher it, Rene Gattamante's archive, then head to the 3DS homebrews, then click the v.1.3 download for VCC. Extract the files in their own folder. Go to the folder labeled files. You will see a banner.png, a icon.png, and an audio.wav. This is where you'll place your .mp4 file. Relabel to something simple like the movie.mp4 or video.mp4. Also, the banner.png and the icon.png represent what will show on the homebrew menu once you install the CIA. The audio file is actually what plays when you scroll over the CIA, so you can replace it with something that's uh, no longer than 8 seconds long. You can drag the PNGs into Photoshop and do something fun. For one video, I made a Half-Life 3 logo and banner. Then the video was a Rick Roll. In one of my more recent videos, I put a certain 1993 Mario movie with this logo and face for the art. This takes the mock.cia to a new level. I was even able to pull off a somewhat convincing video that made it look like I put Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach on my 2DS. 
However, you will see visibly uh, a player at the bottom when loading the video. When you are ready, run the build underscore full dot bat and you will be greeted with the following options. Convert a 3D video? Type two for no. Most likely you will not be converting a 3D video. It is an option, however. Then it will say video name. This is where you will enter your MP4 name. That's why it helps to keep it simple. Then type your video frame rate. Then it will ask what quality you would like to render the video out as. This is all preference, but the higher the quality, the more processing power it will require to convert, in addition to the file size. Answer a range between 1 and 32, with 1 being the highest quality and 32 being the lowest quality. Then it will ask if you want to apply extra compression. Answer yes if you are still worried about processing power and or file size. Then we'll ask you for a unique CIA ID. You just need to type in a number and letter combo that's six characters long. So A, B, C, A, B, one, for example. It doesn't really matter. Then we'll ask the title. I assume this is the title for the CIA, but for some reason it overrides with a JPEG V for both title and author when I do it. This may work for you, but I don't know, just put something like Mario and Nintendo. Once you hit enter, it will start converting and you will see a file when it's done called my underscore video CIA. You can rename it to whatever you would like. Then drag it into your CIA files and install with FBI. Simple as that. And there you have it. Two different ways to watch your own media on the DSi and 3DS. Alternatively, there is a 3DS Homebrew app available called ThirdTube, which allows you to connect to a current working version of YouTube. Just download and launch that one and you're all set. I also hear it doesn't have any ads. So do with that information what you will. Let me know if you need help with any other homebrew apps, and I should be able to put out a handy guide for them. I hope you've all been enjoying my guides here, as it's my goal to make homebrewing accessible to a wider audience. I've also noticed that 98% of the viewers out there aren't subscribed. So if you wouldn't mind hitting that sub button, it really helps me out, and I will see you next time.